Hi, everybody. Hi, Ira. How are you? I'm doing all right. How about you? Good. Hot enough for you guys? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, let me get these um, instructions going here. Close captioning on. Caroline made it look so easy. Any luck, Lori? No, I'm looking for, let me open this Word document. Maybe we could just all say hello first and then I'll figure it all out. Sure. You wanna do that? Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So, <laughs> we're missing Sarah. Um, who else, Sarah? So Marlene, you're new to the council? Yes, I am. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hi, Marlene. Hi. Hello. I'm mostly Hello. keeping myself on mute because like my my air conditioning is like really loud. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is too, but I'm not turning it off. Uh, no, not, don't turn, turn it off. off either. That's why I'm like, I'll mute if I have to, but. <laughs> it's brutal. God, I've been so crabby all day. <laughs> oh, Kathleen and um, Kathleen and um, Sarah. So maybe they'll join um, in a few minutes. But um, Marlene, do you want to? Um, maybe we should just do another little why I want to be on the Arts Council uh, round robin just quickly. Sure. Before we get started, would you rather us start first, Marlene, or do you want to go first? I, I'm not shy, but I don't know what you want. Basically, <laughs> why did I do this? Or why were is, you is that what you're looking to do for this? Me to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I thought, I mean, I'm interested. I'm rather new to Wakefield, only been here a couple of years. I live in Wakefield primarily because my daughter bought a house here and I want to be close to her and to my grandson. So I'm not one of these long timers, forever, parents, grandparents, etc. I'm looking to be involved um, since I'm not that close anymore to my typical stomping grounds, which were Boston, Cambridge, etc., Somerville even. So I thought I'll get involved in things here in Wakefield, get involved in town government, which I haven't been that involved in. and and. You know, as I looked at different things, I mean, I, I admit, I was fascinated by a committee I saw that inspects fences. And I thought, oh, that could be very odd yeah. and very interesting. But no, I decided not. I thought that this was a reasonably good fit for me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know that I consider myself an artist. I certainly have been involved in, in the arts. Um, I think of myself more as a performer. The thing probably other than things that I've done as part of my business career, and I've done a lot of work in education reform and things like that. I'm also one of the very oldest graduates of the Improv Boston Comedy School, mm -hmm. which I'm crazy proud of. I mean, you know, it's like, wow, you know, and I was in, in class primarily with 20 somethings and, you know, people in their thirties. And so it was very interesting experience. Um, do I love improv? No, actually, I don't. And the more I took of it, it's a seven level course. The less I thought, this is not the world's best fit for me. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I love? Stand up, 
storytelling. I mean, that's sort of the direction I was heading myself in. I love telling stories. I love the moth, but I like telling stories that are funny. So I thought I will do funny storytelling. And then of course we had COVID and I haven't found, I don't drive very much at night anymore. I haven't found any open mics. I mean, I had it all set up. I was gonna to go to open mics in the South End or in Cambridge, there's nothing around here. Yes, people tell me in Saugus, I get on Route 1. We get on Route 1 on a good day, never mind to chase down an open <laughs> mic. Really, people. So, For sure. And, and, and now the desire to tell funny stories is lessened. I mean, to do it as a performance. I do it naturally as breathing. So I thought, hmm, this is a good fit for me. I really don't have a clear idea of exactly what you do. Mm. Um, I know that there is some interface with the, I believe, the Metropolitan Arts Council or the Municipal Arts Council or something. The Mass, you know. Mass Cultural Council. Yep. Mass Cultural Council. I thought I'd get it, you know, eventually. Yeah. And I, you know, and I know through being very close to people at Improv Boston, which still exists, although it has neither a stage nor, you know, a home nor because COVID took that. Mm -hmm. um, so they had to give up their physical space. So we don't have a stage and it's sort of been, a, you know, an odd two years um, while the organization is transitioning and reshaping itself. But I know that mm. they've gotten grants from, I'm taking much too much time, blah, blah, mm. blah. Anyway, <laughs> it seemed interesting. And again, I still have no clear idea of what it is you do. Yeah. But I can be a member and be funny for you. <laughs> well, welcome, Marlene. And just just uh, the the two cent version is um, Wakefield as a community in Massachusetts gets some funds from the Massachusetts Cultural Council, okay. and it's our responsibility in this council to appropriate those funds as we see fit, um, ah. and then to distribute them to the organizations that we saw fit to honor them with these grants. In, in, you know, it's not too terribly much money. It's, it's, but it is, you know, work and it has to be, uh, you know, we have a lot of rules that we have to follow um, accordingly. Um, and so that's really all it is, is just, okay. it sounds mm -hmm. like it's so simple, but it's not okay. terribly simple um, <laughs> because of, you know, all the uh, facilitation of the grants and, um, uh, and and even even looking to see what uh, what grantees what what you know potential grant recipients we have to have a big meeting once a year to maybe more than once I I would imagine maybe some years but last year one meeting a year so um, that's that's all it is okay mm -hmm. then just let me just to add to that then and and maybe this is the second reason. Um, why I did it is I knew there was some funding involved. I have a very strong background in um, in development, in grant writing, though I no longer, watch me, I say, I no longer really like writing grants anymore. <laughs> However, you know, certainly not for volunteer basis. No, I've, I've got years of experience, but more experience in supporting grant writing process for, um, I did that for an organization for a couple of years as a consultant, supported the process. I'm very, very adept at, is this a good grant? Uh, you know, and at, yeah. at grant facilitation, at meeting facilitation. Yeah. So all of those are skills I can happily bring. You know, I will support grant writing. I will support these varying organizations in their approaches, in their brainstorming, you know, um, gladly yeah. and happily. That sounds perfect. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it is. Great. I think it is a good match. Please, please, yeah, no, you don't have to write any grants here. We, more <laughs> yeah, about, I mean, we evaluate <laughs> grants more than more than anything Excellent. else. And I've done some grant evaluation. <laughs> yeah. Good. That is yeah. happy news. Thank you. Um, yeah. I was gonna say, since we're still waiting for a couple of people, maybe we just briefly introduce ourselves to Marlene. You are. I'd love to. No, who you are? Diana, do you want to start? Uh, okay. Um, I'm Diana. I've been on this council for a year. I'm now the treasurer. Um, like you, Marlene, I'm, I've got a performing background. I started in theater, but now I mostly do um, voice acting. So I work oh. from home and um, I've done like animation, video games, um, but also things like corporate. So um, it's been great to be able to do that from home from the pandemic, which is why I transitioned over to that. So I've been doing that for a little over a year, but I'm also good with a spreadsheet, so that's why I'm treasurer now. <laughs> <laughs>
you want to go next, Stephanie? Oh. So, Stephanie, you are um, frozen. I have oh. been. Did, it, did we lose? No. Oh, hold on. Um, so, you froze. I tried to press mute and I turned <laughs> off my camera. <laughs> Um, my internet is unstable. <laughs> I'm much more stable than my internet. It's very <laughs> unstable lately between about four and eight o'clock when I have Zoom meetings. <laughs> and it's <laughs> unstable in the entire apartment, I think, because lots of people in the building go on and that makes it unstable. Plus, we're being held hostage by Xfinity because we only mm. can get one internet provider in here. Mm. I'm up on 598 North. You know, there, there's, oh, so yeah. I will freeze from time to time. Or you I'm all sure the heat's freeze. not helping anything either. What? I'm sure the heat's not helping anything. Either. No, and it looks like we're going to have thunderstorms, which I'm sure isn't helping it. But lately, I've had a lot of internet freezing. I should go stand outside, but it's too hot. <laughs> well, we got you. Uh, so I've been on the council for about a year or two, and um, I have no arts background. I've just worked in the arts doing marketing communication, and I just enjoy the arts. And I'm kind of new to Wakefield, too, and I wanted to join uh, oh. while I moved here at right before the pandemic. So um, so it's good to meet people and be on this council, so. Cool. Yeah. Do you wanna go, Laura? Unless you're in the middle of something, it looks like you I might got, be. I got the key in, so okay. I got that. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm Lori Dupuy. I'm pretty much a lifer here in Wakefield, except for a 10 year stint uh, in my mid twenties to mid thirties in Atlanta, Georgia for my husband's job. Um, but other than that, I've, I've lived in Wakefield, except for those 10 years, my entire long life. Um, love the arts, but I'm, I don't even have good penmanship, never mind <laughs> a good artist. <laughs> but I do love the arts, so here I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lori and I are, are co-chairs, actually, so uh, Ira Cummings. I moved to Wakefield about the same time as Stephanie. Um, so uh, only a few years in and then uh, about a year in the Arts Council. Um, so similar to what you were saying, Marlene, um, you know, moving here from Somerville, just wanted to get some of that uh, closer connection to the arts. Um, I have a, a background in drawing, painting, collage, printmaking, uh, you know, anything that will kind of stick to paper is, is how I tend to think about it. And um, yeah, I was just looking to give back some way, get closer connected to artists and the arts, help to hopefully foster it here in Wakefield. So, all right. Um, it seems like this is, this is who we're going to have, Lori. Do we have enough? Yeah, for maybe. Oh, that's one of the the things that I'm actually not too sure about. I know. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the question? I'm sorry. We I have enough for a quorum. Oh, darn. That's one. I, mean, I don't know either. Well, is a quorum just a, the over 50 percent? Um, I, I don't know if it's a, a little more I don't know if it's 50 or two thirds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's there's five of us and there's seven total. Oh, it's a, I would think it's a quorum. That would work. That's yeah. two, roughly two, more than two thirds. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you have bylaws? What are your bylaws? We are all going to find those our training yet. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is officially our first uh, meeting that we've run. So. Oh, okay. It's a little. <laughs> hey. Um, whatever. Stephanie, remind me. Was was it you or Kathleen that uh, wanted to be the the um, Secretary. I forgot I was muted. It's I think it was Kathleen. Kathleen but, said was she Kathleen. was gonna be secretary. Okay. I can I can um I can do it for her today. Take the notes. Oh that would be awesome. Yeah. I'll fill in for her. <laughs> that okay. would be so awesome. Okay. So the first thing uh, on the agenda is approving the minutes from the last meeting. Um, Marlene, did you, I think you're on, the, you're on our email list. Did you receive those? I got it. I, have a minute to I even printed it out. <laughs> All right. So I could look at it and not go back and forth on screens. <laughs> uh, we, we tend to not go too in depth on those. Really, it's only if anybody has any edits or omissions. Um, but um, anybody 
uh, does everybody approve the minutes from uh, last I, meeting? Did this event occur or is it going to occur? It did. It was back in it April. Um, oh, okay. Yep. All right. Sure. I, I, whatever. Yeah, I think it was in May because I was, I was out of town. Okay. Yeah, that was, so the last meeting that we had. Oh, the last meeting. Sorry. Yes. My so I misunderstood. Okay. So no objections to the minutes. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, Marlene, to give you a really quick background. So we did uh, an in-person, so the first in-person event that we've had in a couple of years back in May at the um, Albion Cultural Exchange, where we invited all the grantees and um, Oh, I you know, see had, the date. Yeah, had a had a short ceremony, um, very informal. Uh, we had a, a few elected officials show up, and um, just got a chance to meet them and give them a, a minute to talk about their project. And it was great. It was nice. Very, very uh, great to meet people in person who had only seen on a Zoom screen. So. <laughs> and these were grant recipients from last year, or. Like uh, what is the grant cycle in terms of how when you distribute money? When do people start making applications for it? Applications happen in the fall. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we awarded them in uh, February. It's technically uh, March, March to March. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Just kidding. Um. The agenda. Do you have it, it pulled up by chance, Lori, or else? Uh... Uh, no, but I find it on my phone. Um, That's okay. I, I think, I think I the it. next thing was um... the uh, farmers market uh, tabling and the, the farmers banner. market. Yep. Um, so just to remind people, catch people up, um, what we talked about back in the spring was the potential to um, get a table at the Wakefield Farmer's Market. Um, it goes nine to one every Saturday through October. Um, and maybe pick a couple of days, potentially, you know, it doesn't have to be, but maybe closer to the end, because that will be closer to when the grant uh, window opens. Um, and just to answer questions, it's more like visibility opportunity, you know, maybe we can print out some forms and some, um, I don't know what kind of uh, brochures and things like that, but um, we could pick a day, we could pick a couple days and one of us would, you know, could divide shifts and uh, have a presence there. So. Okay. Happy to do so. I, yeah. I do tabling for different organizations I'm involved with. So. Do we yeah. have copies or can somebody email me or send me copies of what um, an application looks like? Like, and, you know, so I can start to come up to speed to understand if ultimately I'm talking to people, what I'm talking to them about. Mm -hmm. Do you mean a, a completed one or a blank one? A blank one is fine. Just so I have an okay. idea of what are you asking people to do for, you know, how many pages, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. you know. I might ultimately want to look at a few completed ones of recipients so that I can see your evaluation process. But if you've mm -hmm. got a rubric or whatever, you you know, just some things that start to give me an idea of what it is you're doing when you evaluate. Yeah. Um, at the very least, we can definitely send you, uh, you know, direct link to the Mass Cultural Council site that details oh, the process. That would be um, great. Sure. Yeah. And then um, so the the they do we use a, their application sorry yes. to interrupt oh okay mm -hmm. yeah they that they, they, they determine all of that it's it's really you know it's it's our responsibility to review what well so it's our responsibility to define the local criteria and then um to uh or from the community our responsibility to review the grant applications and award the funds and then also um, do the paperwork that um, helps the grantees get reimbursement. Okay. So. Um, um, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Lori. Is it, does it cost money to get the table at the farmer's market? 
TBD, but I, the general consensus last time, I can't remember, it might've been Caroline. Uh, someone said that the person that runs the farmer's market's a former council member and they felt it would be pretty easy. I was gonna say, okay. I thought we and, put aside like a little bit of administrative funds for that. I don't know if we did for that specifically, but we do have some budget. However, you know, not yeah. not major, but no, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a ton. Yeah. We can we can see. Um uh you know we I can, think nonprofits in town get one or two Saturdays for free. Okay. I, mean, I think we fall in that same category as an arts council, you know, and we're representing, yeah. you know, the, the Mass Cultural Council. Um, I think we would probably get one or two Saturdays for free, but don't quote me on that. My gut mm -hmm. says I remember hearing that somewhere. But. Okay. Is it still Wendy Dennis that like runs the the Wakefield Farmers Market? I suppose I could look it up on. I, I'll Google it. Because we'll have to approach the the coordinator of the market. Yeah. Um, okay, so it it sounds like nobody uh, is objecting. Nobody thinks that's a bad idea. Okay. Um, so we need to. Check I know. The... Poor Marlene got stuck. Oh, that is... that's not a good okay. person stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> no. I think she might object. Uh, we will give her a minute here. Yeah. Oh no, oh, we lost she her. Has to drop. She's probably gonna go leave and come back. Yeah. That's probably what I'd do too. Yeah, I thought that was a joke. That's why I was laughing. And Stephanie, you were going to do the, you were going to order the banner, right? Yeah, so I was going to um, order the banner. I think I sent a link because I thought um, what we were going to, anyway. I found the cheapest site for, it was like 30, I don't know our budget. So I was looking for the cheapest that I can find. It was like, oh, I definitely know the administrative budget was for, at least for the banner. Yeah. Yeah like 40 bucks or something I, yeah i think we oh that's yeah i think it's definitely in there let me see if i, I think can, we set her let me see aside, if i can like find close the to 90 spreadsheet what's for that. What's, oh, okay. what's left of, what's left of the money yeah that's like the <laughs> only thing um i didn't know the cost for it like what we could spend mm -hmm. i didn't put my receipt in yet for the zuzu's cafe catering mm -hmm. okay yeah, we we left um, we left three hundred and fifty dollars after for like promotion for admin costs. Total admin costs. Yeah, total admin costs. So that would include like a farmers market if we had. Yeah, if we had to do that and banner and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is uh, an unusual situation. I was just checking my email to see if Marlene. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, see if she emails. Let me see if I haven't seen. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it now. I don't see anything. Can we keep going even though we only have four now? That's what I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, there's that's... nothing in my um, yeah, inbox. Like... Yeah. What um... do you guys think? Uh. No. The number I had in my head when Caroline was running it was five. And I don't know if that was based on the size of the group at the time. No, I think it was five too. Mm -hmm. um, but we had more people back then. We um, did. So maybe four for seven is okay. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Uh... 
I'm wondering, okay, I'm going to just, I'm just going to start snooping around the cultural council and see if there's something there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, the rules, even just like for tonight, I, I didn't know that I had to put the, I guess I did open know, but I didn't look at meeting. it closely enough. Understand open meeting laws and meeting techniques. Da, 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 da. And then there may be, it might be a um, Wakefield. Um, okay. Or maybe it's a Massachusetts. Uh, quorum of members, blah, blah, blah. A simple majority. So if an LCC okay. has seven members, a quorum is four. Perfect. Oh my God, <laughs> Diana, you are a, look at you pulling that out. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God. Awesome. Okay, so we can keep going. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's do it. So the Mass Council says it's okay comment. if anybody complains. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe how fast you found that. That's awesome. Okay. Control F. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have, I, I wrote down for action items. Um, so we need to reach out to the coordinator, determine which days we might be able to do it. Then obviously we need to figure out what days we, as the, t the tabling people could do it. Uh, we need to determine if there's a cost and then we need to determine, uh, we need to get the banner printed. Mm -hmm. Does that Perfect. sound like everything? Yep, that's what I have to. Okay, okay, great. Um, I'm on the hook for the banner. Um, yep. Just looking at this. Um, anybody feel like they can take on the outreach to the coordinator to ask about days and costs? I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll find out who is the facilitator of the, um, okay. of the farmer's market. Okay. Great. Thanks, Laurie. Okay. So it sounds like we'll we'll follow up on those details and then reach out or communicate back out to the group in terms of if we can do it and uh, when and how and all that business. Okay, Imagine the, awesome. the banners a day or less. I mean, a, a week or less of, of lead time. Yeah. Those types. Yeah. If we okay. could do It'd be great to do a local place if we could. I, yeah. you, you found oh. a really awesome resource, Stephanie. Yeah. Now that I so. know we have a bigger, I wasn't sure like how much we had. Mm. So like we could do, hopefully spend more than 30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, if, if we're cutting, you know, if we're finding the cheapest, that's totally awesome. <laughs> that was a really great price. Yeah. If we can support a local business, hey, that'd be awesome. So, mm -hmm. um, Okay, I think we have that covered. The next one is training, I think. Yeah. Yeah, um, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like some. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, so Timothy is changed to a new role at the Mouse Quest Cultural yeah. Council, mm -hmm. so she's no longer our contact. Um, it is someone else who Car named... Carolyn. Carolyn, yeah. Oh, uh, another yeah. Carolyn. <laughs> or maybe it's Caroline, but something like that. Oh. I'll give Marlene. Hey, Marlene. Welcome She's back. She's back. <laughs> You're back. Can you hear us? Mm. Uh oh. oh. That's. No, nope, we're not getting any audio. Let me see if I can try to. Um, um, how do I? I was going to try to. Oh, no, I think she can hear us, but we can't hear her. Is that what it is? No, it doesn't look like it. OK, she can't even hear us. Looking that way. Okay. What if I try to, t you know, that little instant messaging you can do? Yeah, yeah I can't find the chat. I don't know where it went. Yeah, me too. I can't find mm -hmm. it. It might be turned off, you know, because the, it, I guess it's a question. There's probably some accessibility concerns or potentially just the, the records piece of it. 
Because oh, that wouldn't show up like in the recording. Part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know I what's think... weird? She, her, oh no, it's back on. She, I think no. she, okay. Mm. Mm. What a bummer. Oh wait, her little microphone is, it's not showing. Everybody, like right now, my microphone is going like this because it's, I'm speaking and then, and then oh. everybody has a microphone, but her. Oh yeah. Yeah. It does. It's, it shows that. Yeah. I see what you're seeing. I see what you're seeing. Yeah. Sh shows that she doesn't have a microphone at all, hmm. which is definitely on her end. Yeah. And it's not on mute because that's the, yeah. the Ghostbusters thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So she must be, it must be at her side yeah. because it's not showing. Yeah, she needs to, she needs to go to a, her, her control panel and sort that out, but we can't oh, tell her I that. wish I had oh, wait, a oh, chat. Oh, here we go. Connecting to audio. Connecting to audio. Oh, yeah, ah. okay. Yay. Oh, and now you're muted. Now it's on mute. It hears her, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're still on mute. Still muted, Marlene. Yeah. I'm horrible at reading lips. I know. I'm like, I really <laughs> want to learn how to read lips now. Okay, I've never done Zoom on my phone. All right. Yeah, no, it's tricky. But it's, the computer it's entirely me rules. out. Oh. And then it wouldn't let me back in. It kept telling me that um, the URL or the site can't be reached. I did diagnostics. Nothing. No. It's yeah. a bummer. First time this has ever happened. Now this is really unstable. But I and I'd never done it on my phone. But I've got it figured out. I couldn't yeah, figure no, out how to get the sound for a while. I'm yeah, right. sorry. I, I I sort of like took over the meeting with my technical technological problems. I apologize. No, it's fine. That's all right. That's never That's happened right. in a Zoom meeting before ever. Yeah. <laughs> we, You're being sarcastic, yeah. I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is good. I'm losing trial by fire. How to use Zoom on my phone, which actually looks better. Maybe it won't be unstable. Ha. Huh. Okay. All right. Back on Thank track. You. Back on track. Glad, hey, glad my you're back apologies. With us, no worries. Um, uh, all right. Uh, back in that brain state. Uh, so, you were talking, talking about, about, about Carolyn, Carolyn, our new yep. liaison and, at MCC. And farmer's market. Yep. We So, uh, Marlene, we are, Lori's going to take the outreach to the farmer's market coordinator, and uh, I'm going to work with Stephanie on, uh, on the banner. And okay. so we'll, we'll report back out to the group. Do we have a banner or are we having it made? We need to make one. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, and then we, we shifted gears to talk about uh, potential training with our new representative from the Mass Cultural Council, uh, Carolyn, Caroline, we're not quite sure. Um, the, the potential wrinkle uh, for, for doing this is it sounds like she's mostly um, meeting with folks during the day. That was most of her availability. Okay. So I that would problem with that, but I know a lot of people do. So. Yeah, I can plan around it if I have a week's notice. Um, so uh, I don't know what. So I can do during the day with my unstable computer or whatever. I'll be working <laughs> on that problem. Believe me. Uh, okay. But or my phone. Laurie, Stephanie, any thoughts? I can do um, during the day. Okay. With a little bit of notice. Yeah. Uh, I would need notice too. Um, okay. Yeah. Any any preference on days, times? Wednesdays are bad for me, but other than that, I'm pretty flexible. Okay. Is it a virtual meeting or would it yes. be in person? It would okay. be virtual. Okay. So the training would be just the new contact going over the system with us? Um, I think a little bit 
I, I, we could make it whatever we want. I think. Um, I think a little meet and greet, a little, um, you know, us as sort of the new uh, yeah. leadership team, if you will, <laughs> such as it is. And uh, yeah, I, I think um, Marlene hasn't seen the the system that we use, so um, there's a, a quite a bit of of training videos that our previous contact Timothy did Marlene so okay uh maybe those are still floating around but yeah. um and I could but, always use a refresher on what yeah. we did last year because yeah. some of that was trial and uh, trial and yeah. error <laughs> it's not well, super anything you can send me or you know or, or yeah. even is, is very helpful okay um all right I will I will reach out to her and see if we can nail down some days and times and I'll try to get you know two weeks notice not on a Wednesday mm -hmm. okay okay would it make more sense to do like if we can like small groups as opposed to individuals I mean if if it could be uh, what why not uh all of us as as much as possible yeah and, that's yeah that's okay basically what I'm asking yeah okay yeah. did she want to do us individually no no but so. I'm saying like oh. because of people's schedules and stuff like that oh you know, okay that, yeah because that's yeah. so inefficient, really. I know. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and the other training that's equally as important, but I was um, noticing that wasn't on the list. I was going to mention it. <laughs> well, um, the the town. Yeah, the town uh, clerk. The the facilitation of the the town monthly reporting up to the town, and all these things that um, Ira and I learned from Caroline that she was doing. Um. And I don't, who was the treasurer before? Because- Caroline did, um, did it all. Yeah, Caroline was doing she like- did? Yeah. yeah. So I guess wow. there was no treasurer, but, but um, you know, we can all work together, but, um, but, it, but it looks like, you know, this would, this, this is tricky um, mm. from what she described. I, I don't think it's, uh, you know, not doable certainly but it's there's a lot of reporting back to the town on the monies yeah. um even if there's no activity in a certain month there's still some reporting and things like sure. that so there's sort of like that that second bit of training that we'll we should probably meet on and i don't know who would really go through it with us maybe the other gal uh ira do you think at the town not sherry but um well, I was told I was told that I would probably not only have to meet with the town clerk, but the town accountant. Oh, OK. OK, well, that but person, I'm know, certain would. I don't know how that's facilitated at all. Yeah, Caroline, I can did, I can write to the gals that. and see if they can hook us up. OK. Yeah, she mentioned that I think it's it's once a year. But I think once uh, at the end of their financial year, which Oh, that one, yes, like the big thing. But but every month they send us, we we got it this month. They send us that, um, yep. like here's your your activity arts council. Yes. Yeah, that's that's more of a one off. Like at, at a high level, basically, what we have to do is um, review the documentation that they send us, review that it lines up with the grant, um, sign a, you know, print out. The paperwork uh and it, i guess we didn't clarify lori whether it can be virtually signed or needs to be physically signed um but then brought to town hall oh that's right yeah yeah so okay it, it's it's not onerous and we have what 13 of them to do i think we landed on um so it's it's just like a, a bureaucratic process so step follow the steps we tried to document it with caroline before the end of her her term <laughs> yeah in the the uh passing of the baton yeah so. Oh, so i just want to explain to marlene we have term limits which is why like all of us are new <laughs> oh okay i was kind of wondering am i yeah. the newest right or are, yeah is there somebody yeah. else that came on this year yeah i'm it um as, as far as I know, you are the newest um, in the previous uh, chair had done all of the roles. 
and um, had been doing it for, I think, two years, I want to say. Uh, I think she said like four or five years. Oh, I really? That long? Oh, my okay. gosh. I know. <laughs> so that's crazy. I had no idea. Okay. So term limits relative to being on the Arts Council or term limits relative to being um, an officer on the council? Oh. Yeah, oh. I think, yeah. Because I think I think it's six limits, or sorry, six years on the Arts Council. Oh, okay. Um, so, so do you want to have, do you want me to go to um, either Jackie Sorrentino or Sherry Dalton and try to get a meeting with the accountant for all of us yeah, or should you, yeah in case like yeah for if for whatever reason like i'm unavailable for whatever reason then like somebody at least has an idea what's going on mm -hmm. yeah i think the more of us that know the better off we are yeah no yeah and i'd be all right so to, i'll know, do that to to go to those meetings and be back up for somebody i mean you know so now I'm gonna guess that those town accountant people are also day meeting people. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. fine, it's fine with fine. me. Fine. Okay, so let me reach out to them first and then I'll email. Oh, okay. one thing I just wanna say before, if, when we're emailing each other, we're supposed to email arts council, the arts council mailbox too, CCA, in, in yeah. all our communications. Oh, Could you okay. <laughs> well, none of you have ever emailed me, so email me <laughs> and I'll see what the Arts Council is that we're also communicating with, and that's yeah. fine, you know. Yeah. Maybe when you send me things or send me, you know, videos to look at or something. Now yeah. that you say it, so, it makes sense. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so who, who, all right, who is the Arts Council? Who, who monitors that? Laurie someone at town, someone at town hall reads what is our email threads to each other? Question mark? Actually, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, do. Big Brother is watching, huh? Watching yeah. the Arts <laughs> Council. Yeah. Who knew? But this is actually being recorded now, so now yes. they've got it. They've got me saying it, so I'm in big trouble. And you can, <laughs> and and it's on the um, the yeah, <laughs> and big it's trouble. on. You can anyone can access it because there's a law in Massachusetts about open open meetings. Open, right. yeah, yes. So so this is why they want us to uh, email the uh, Arts Council because okay. if if there's ever a public request uh, for open records, then they would have to come after right. like our hotmails, gmails. This mm. way, yep. they they are just going into that mailbox and saying okay. there's all the yeah. I'd yeah, that makes a certain amount of sense. One instead of getting I, my personal email. I have watched videos of other things. That is true. I do watch planning board or the zoning board or the town council sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just out of curiosity and sort of out of an interest to know what's going on. You know, things like that. So I have watched those. Now I realize. But who's going to come and watch us? <laughs> hey, I showed Never up enough. as a guest a while before I started before I came in here. So, yeah. oh, you oh, did? Okay. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I ask me what's going on with the zoning board. I find them interesting in the planning board, the zoning board especially. Mm. You know, I've been You're braver than I am. What? You're braver than I am. Yeah. Well, I want to know what's I want to know what's going on with that building head of the lake and all of that oh. stuff because that's sure. kind of sort of in my neighborhood. So oh yeah. So I'm very curious. I'm also very interested in things like that. Yeah. So I, yeah. you know, of course it's not going to be built. I'll be long dead before it's probably built. But whatever, you know. Yeah. Oh, I said You'd that. You'd be surprised. They move fast. Do they? Well, I mean the 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 ones over by the uh, the the train station just went up mm. like that. The one that looks like a cruise ship, right? Yes, the cruise ship one. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. one did that's go up. I mean, that's like right by where I live, so yeah, I've been watching same. that. And the ones behind it too. But the head of the lake, they've got to take the old that old building, the old, old Converse building, down. Yeah, that's going to be interesting mm -hmm. to see if they implode yeah. it or something. Hey, folks. I, I would love to talk about this stuff, but it, yeah, I know I've got, I've back. literally yeah. got to be gone in 15 minutes and we have two more things <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> um, it is totally fine. Uh, but yeah, just for the purposes today. Um, 
Okay, I think we got through that. The training, uh, Mass Cultural Council. Um, and then so you're going to hit up Caroline or Carolyn, I, I forget yep. how you pronounce hers, and I'm going to hit up Jackie and Sherry, and we'll both try to get, we'll both socialize the uh, dates and we'll move forward with those two yep. separate trainings. Yeah, perfect. Okay, um, and then the last one, so I, did, I, I said I would do something, this, but didn't. Um, so I created a um, Wakefield Arts Council Instagram account um didn't do anything with it um it's, it's kind there. of like me in the facebook <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i so um i think i followed it i forget um yeah i mean I'm, I'm happy to share the credentials for all or anyone um i don't know if we should discuss like how we want to use it any sort of general like posting guidelines or anything like that, but um, it would be nice if we could, you know, I'm if following. grantees like um, gave us a heads up and we could post about their events or things like that, but um, it's probably not going to be a big focus for me. Uh, just it would be nice if basically we could just repost the mass cultural stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Ira, who is Mrs. Giannotti? I don't know. Is she an arts teacher at this high school, maybe? Could she's be. she's the only one following. It's <laughs> you and me and her. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot we could do with it. I mean it'd be nice uh, you know, when we do the farmer's market or something. Yeah. To kind of post yeah. about that and tag the Wakefield farmer's market account. And, and that kind of stuff but um i don't know does anybody else want credentials i i can help with that since that's my job because <laughs> I, I, I was like i, I will do up. anything else yeah. <laughs> I, I actually it's so funny i hate social media because i do it all the time and I'm like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i will i will help with that so. okay well thanks stephanie yeah. um I, given given how we're planning to use it or not, do people feel like we should discuss posting guidelines or? Um, I'm pretty whatever whatever. I think we you know whatever the any of our we could sort of trust, don't you think? Our our um, all of us yeah. would would probably be okay with whatever one of us right. wanted to post. Yeah. Yeah. There's only think, seven of us. Right. Yeah. yeah. I We're think that's fine. Reasonable. I, and I think if some if somebody objects to something, it's pretty easy to take down. So. Yeah. 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 Use good judgment. Um, be a decent human. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not going to see it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I don't. I'm not interested in uh starting a facebook page for us or anything like we that we have one we do have one okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> Diana, is that is, are you cringing or well it's it, it's there it exists it's, it exists okay. every now and again i get a little pop-up somebody joined so, yeah. so i think we probably oh, have i'll like, go and join for sure i think we probably have somewhere around 20. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I mean, no we're not doing anything with it, so. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. I think you could connect them both if you want to do that. Connect oh, yeah. Instagram and Facebook together. So then if you just post on Instagram and automatically post on Facebook, so then. Yeah, seems likely. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, back in back in the day that we, we used to do Hootsuite and like you would just post everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay um unless but, i mean really... like i think once 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 grant time comes around it might be good to get the word out that way mm -hmm. it would be for sure um probably be tough it probably belongs to a former member a former council member <laughs> so um i'll have to unravel that that ball of wax um i'm i'm not excited to jump into those waters but i don't know if anybody else is and feels like it's it's worth the time at this point 
Oh, you mean the Facebook is somebody's? Oh, uh, I yeah. I have that access. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, it's you, Dana. Yeah, okay. it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything with it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's you, there. <laughs> you know what? Where might also be a good place to advertise that we're getting ready to take grants is on the Wakefield, one of them, the Wakefield community pages. Yes. Yeah, that's that's what we did last year, actually. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So like once 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 the time came around, so it would be great to be able to post it on our page and then just kind of forward it to other pages. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or share or whatever it is. I think share. <laughs> um how do we do the minutes here's a little training uh diddy uh, like stephanie has taken some notes yeah. tonight notes, yeah. we're all gonna look at them and then um i i'll ask sherry where i put the final draft of these minutes because i don't know mm -hmm. i think weren't they forwarded to sherry last time and then she did it she did i think don't quote me because I, I, I had to write the minutes last time, so yes, yes. Oh. And you and did you just send them to Caroline Lieber, or did you yeah. send them to Sherry? I sent them to Caroline. I think she ended up copying Sherry when she approved them. Okay. Okay. Don't oh, quote me wait on a that. minute. I think that's what happened. I wonder. Do we have to send like? Are we like one behind then? Like tonight? Did the did the ones we approved tonight go to Sherry? Like, I wonder how that works. Or, or to tonight's minutes go to Sherry now, and the yeah. and they and the last ones went to her the last time, and then we just approve them. You know what I mean? Like which one are going to the town today? The ones we approved. Well, so I gave them to I sent them to Caroline. She approved them, and then she copied Sherry. So I think that's kind of like once they're like because they're 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 approved by the chair, and then they're approved mm -hmm. by Sherry. Okay. okay, so Stephanie's gonna send them to us in like a word document or whatever and then yeah. we'll because we'll I, say... I, I sent it to everybody and i remember ira had like a minor thing that he wanted to add and then i added it and all, okay all was good, and then sherry got it okay and do, that's do what we, i remember do I format it? like real like i'm looking at the, the minutes that you sent it says second draft and it's all nice and formatted <laughs> <laughs> i can do that said, oh, um, that's mine <laughs> Did, I, did you do that? That's so nice. I, I will. I will do that. Yeah. I think I took. I think I took a, a format from Kathleen's and just tweaked it a little. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. I will make mine more yeah. readable. Before I send it. Okay. Yeah. But we'll get. We get to see it before it goes to Sherry. So we approve it first before it yeah. goes. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah granted Don't there were it. a lot more notes last time because we were planning an event so yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i wouldn't sweat it too much stephanie i think yeah readable readable is totally right fine. right just plain language <laughs> boom boom yeah. yeah 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 i mean yeah we had a lot going on last time we did yeah okay um so it sounds like probably the next meeting is to plan the farmers market yeah potentially sure. and how long is that going for goes in october it goes like october yeah, okay. yeah. mid-october i think yeah. yeah okay so we're hoping to do maybe something in september yeah okay. i think yeah. september would be good too because you know this time of year people are gone yeah. on the yeah the there nobody and stuff. people be back from vacation and all that yeah okay all right because should we like at least inquire about dates in september now sounds like uh, yeah i i i will tell her that we're aiming for a table uh or two uh, whatever we can get mm -hmm. uh and i'll tell her that we prefer september does that sound good yeah perfect Sounds good to me okay yeah because then it'll be right before we start grant season yeah grant season <laughs> Okay, so maybe we'll get together for that training beforehand. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. But then, yeah, we'll just uh, <laughs> uh, people want to send emails out just to report back findings, and I think we'll be good. Awesome. Okay.
So we'll report back findings via email to each other, CCing yep. the Arts Council at Wakefield. Yep. Yeah. Great. Okay. Wait a second, Ira, what findings? What are you, what are we oh. reporting back yep. to each other? Uh, so Lori was going to reach out to the farmer's market. Oh, oh okay. Uh, coordinator, yep. Oh, um, that, those are the findings, all right. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to reach out to um, Jackie Sorrentino and try to set up a meeting with the uh, account, town accountant. Uh, that, okay. that sounds wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Those are my actions. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, my, apology, awesome. my apologies for delaying you for a few minutes with oh, this right. craziness with my Zoom. That's all right. It, it happens. Believe me. It does. <laughs> it but I'm, I'm kind of concerned now that it did that. So. Whatever. We're glad you came back. Yeah. yeah. And then I you. figured I'd do it on my phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Learning that experience all around. Stephanie, yeah. your uh, gallery wall is absolutely beautiful. I love oh, it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. All, all right. right. Wonderful. Well, thanks, people. everybody. Thank you. Guys. Nice right. to meet you all. Bye. Nice Thanks, Marlene. Bye. 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 Take care.